Racing handicaps over the 2,000 metres, four scratchings, and we've got the eight runners. The Take the Y out, so we start with Apataki, horse number two, Damien Michael Hellier, riding for the Lemming Stable. Yeah, running a nice third behind Surreal over the 16.50 at Bow Desert around about three weeks ago. So the 2,000 metres is good for him. A little bit of a give in the ground he'll appreciate. Fit racehorse, hard to beat. Leon Elliott has the three. This is Scalago. Josh Adams rides. Got to go 2,000 second up. He came off a three-month spell when he was uh, beaten 11 lengths at Bow Desert over the 1,400. The step up certainly a big advantage for this horse. However, he may need one or two more just to bring him to his best. Yvette Lewis rides the four in the golden soul for Greg Cornish. I think that two kilo claim's important. This uh, is a fit racehorse and wasn't beaten all that far at Ballina seven days ago. And he beaten around about a neck and a driving finish. A little given the ground also suits. So a definite tick for the golden soul. Okay, we look to the five. This is Deal With Me. He's got the best looking strap. I have a go at him. And this horse looks fantastic. Now they've taken... The blinkers off and the visors are back on. Georgina Cartwright sticks and great idea, Damien, because he just seemed to wait for them that little bit at Kilcoy last start. Yeah, he did. He was he was very game when second behind Firebox. That was last Thursday at Kilcoy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll race up on the speed again, fit racehorse, and he'll be strong, I reckon, down the line. Berry Road is a seven. Brooke Ainsworth for Greg Cornish. He's racing well. He just seems to struggle to win this horse, just a three from 27. He comes here after running third over the 24.50 at Bow Desert. He's a dower type of horse, but he can win this race. Jamira Triangle is the nine. Nori Mazuda rides for James Hepworth. He was a Kilcoy 1,900-metre winner back in early June, around about uh, just over 30 days ago now. And he then ran six behind Firebox and Deal With Me uh, last Thursday there. And he was three wide all the way and was very deep on the turn. So there were excuses. I think if you're considering Deal With Me a chance, you have to also include Jamara Triangle. Michael Nolan has the 10 in Sandgate Road. Kenji Yoshida? He's racing honestly at uh, Toowoomba in particularly. Uh, he was uh, second there, uh, well, a couple of runs back before winning his mate, and then he ran fifth at his most recent start. He's a fit racehorse, and uh, he, he's, he's a dower type, suited by the 2000. And Stephanie Sixtus has the 12 in recall events, Carl Zekner. Uh, he was well beaten at Kilcoy last week. He'll need to lift a bit to be a chance here. Part of the ground. All right, the five deal with me is a firm of 220 and Apataki sits on the second line, 390 into 380. Damien, you're late mail for the last time today. Tough old race. It's been a tough old day, Keon, hasn't it? Um, winners haven't been easy to find. I'm going to go four, five, two and nine. The Golden Soul, I liked its run at Ballina last week. It is fit. It just needs to be cuddled away. And if Yvette Lewis can then bring it down the middle of the straight in the last couple of hundred metres, find the line well. So four on top for me, over five, deal with me, who is racing very honestly and consistently. The run at Kilcoy last week was very good. The two, Apataki, we can't fold his form overall, and he paraded nicely as well. And uh, the value runner for me in the race is the nine, Jamara Triangle, who uh, had excuses at Kilcoy when wide. So I'll go four, five, two and nine. Thanks for that, Damien, and for your help today. Now, Emily Lang. Uh, she's outridden her country claim. So she's amassed 80 winners, just over 12 months. So fantastic result for Emily and a big congratulations. And she's with such a good stable, O'Day Hoisted. So, yeah, very much looking forward to her mm. attacking the provincial circuits with that three kilo claim. And she's a lightweight rider too. So she's going to kill it, Damo. Natural horse person, isn't she? That's mm. right. She was on 78 wins leading into today's meeting and the mm-hmm. doubles today. That's correct, yeah. So she's she's got to 80 and... Lots of trainers have been using her one and a half claim still, you know, on the provincial circuit yeah. and the country circuit. But um, uh, she'll, uh, as I said, she's a natural horse person in a great stable. She's prepared to listen and learn and uh, wish her all the best. I'm sure there's going to be many city winners for her. Certainly. And, yeah, it makes a big difference when a sports person or in anything, if they're prepared to listen and learn, they just go leaps and bounds and they've got that bit of a natural ability as well. All right, deal with me. Has been heavily backed now into a dollar eighty-five. So Apataki, as a result, is out to four twenty. The Golden Soul now five fifty as well. And your next best is the nine. Okay, let's head upstairs to Anthony Collins for the last time today. Race number eight at Warwick. Galago still a dollar eighty-five. Deal with me. The Golden Soul five fifty. Uh, four twenty Apataki, but deal with me is the best supported run up. 
for this last event. Thanks, team. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, last race, 185, deal with me. The best supported runner, 2,000 metres, benchmark 60. scalago has gone in. Jamira Triangle is set. Now, Sandgate Road will be the last. And Pataki standing up well, deal with me. The golden soul recall of Eds from the inside. So deal with me, Georgina Cartwright for Lindsay Goff. Our last favourite here at Ormond Park this afternoon. Now, Berry Road will be uh, the last to get set. And it's coming forward out wide. So we're set now. Deal with me, the fave. Ready for action in the last. Stools are back. They're off. So deal with me began second from the inside gate. Recall events jumps in front here early on, showing good speed both up at Taki Berry Road from out wide. So nearly a line of four here as they thunder past the post the first time round. Jamira Triangle's about centre field. Sam Gate Road's covering it up. And they're followed by Scalago back second to last to the first turn and the Golden Soul whipping them in. Last of all over on the fence, probably at least eight to ten lengths away from the speed. So up front the pace setter as they head off into the back was Apataki. Did it easy and led the charge through the space of the first 400 metres by three parts of length, Berry Road. Deal with me third and they're followed by recall events about a head away in fourth position along the rail. Two further back to Sandgate Road, Jamira Triangle and there together with Scalago and about three lengths away to the Golden Soul last of all. So along the back straight, 1,200 metres out, and the pace setter, Berry Road now. So it's Berry Road in front, kicked out two lengths. Now over Apataki back to second, and there followed by third up of the outside there was Deal With Me. And over on the fence in fourth, recall events. Then came Sandgate Road, fifth towards the outside of Jamira Triangle. Scalago second to last, and the Golden Soul is still whipping them in. So off the back straight, 850 out, 12 lengths covering the field now. And it's still Berry Road, the pace setter, in front as they begin to corner by probably two. Over in second spot, Apataki, and then came Deal With Me, this favourite in third spot, four lengths away from the speed now. And together there with Sandgate Road coming into the picture, Scalago is next. Recall events is over on the fence, Jamira Triangle second to last, and still the Golden Soul whips him in. Coming down past the 400. So the leader was Berry Road narrowly. Over Apataki the outside. Deal with me third. Jamira Triangle ducks back down to the rails. Sandgate Road right down the outside. Together there with Skilago. So about six of them abreast here at the 250. And kicking through there. Deal with me. Jamira Triangle the fence. Sandgate Road. Skilago right down the outside. Deal with me. Sandgate Road and Skilago. Sandgate Road up on the outside. Deal with me. They split it. Favourite, I think, just deal with me. Over Sandgate Road, Scalago. Jamira Triangle then came up at Darkey, followed by Berry Road. Well back in the field to the Golden Soul and recall events. Tail end of the field. I think deal with me just, yep. Favourite backers rejoice. Horse number two, deal with me. Tenacious in the finish there, fending off the others. Lindsay Goff and Georgina Cartwright, absolute genius move to put those visors on because last start, that's what got him beat, Damo. We just waited for them in the shades. Visors on today, very tenacious to the line. And, yeah, big heart, that horse. So 5, 10, 3 and 9. The challenge was there, but he was too strong today. Not much doubt. I think at the 200, he was headed by Sandgate Road. Then he kicked back and then... Uh, then on the Road outside, might need the blinkers. Scal he just waited. Yeah, he, he sort of wa yeah, he wanted to wander a bit, didn't he? Scalago <laughs> was good. He loomed up as well, uh, but he was uh, very, very tough at the end. And yeah, tenacious. Good word to use. It was a tenacious win. He fought all the way. And uh, punters do go home happy because he was well supported. Mm, he certainly was, particularly in those final moments. Yes, yeah, Sandgate Road really jumped out of the ground the last furlong and then got beside Deal With Me and just didn't want to go past him. But a very tenacious win, as we said, by the five. So five, ten, three and nine. Bit of a resurrection there for punters from Warwick in the lucky last. All right, thanks for your help today, Damien. It's been a fantastic day. Thanks, Kia. We didn't find too day. many winners, but no, we live to fight another day. A hundred percent. We'll go home and have a look at the uh, Rockhampton Newmarket tomorrow. I'm going to get stuck into some doom and form for Saturday tonight when I get home. All right, 5, 10, 3 and 9 for the last race here at Warwick. As we say, good evening.